Hi, I'm going to show you how you can control Bluetooth light bulbs directly from a text message on your mobile phone using nothing but a mobile phone connection. No internet connection needed at all. This is using a really simple GSM module that costs just a few pounds connected to a PuckJS device, and that's it. It takes a few seconds to work, but otherwise, this could be done from literally anywhere on the world as long as you have mobile phone signal. With these modules, or in fact any Esprino board, you can connect to the internet as well. And I'll show you how to do that in another video. The problem with that is that you need a SIM card with a internet connection as part of it. And those generally only come on contracts which will cost you a certain amount per month, you know, maybe a few dollars. If you only want to send and receive text messages, SIM cards that will do that can be had as pay as you go and will be amazingly cheap to run. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. And it turns out it's really, really easy. So this is how I have everything set up. I have a SIM 800 module here connected to its serial and that's powered off five volts from this wire. And then I have a PuckJS device here that's just out of its case. And that's powered by 3.3 volts from this voltage regulator here. You could run it off its own battery, but as we're actually supplying external power, it just makes sense to power everything the same way. These modules come in many different shapes and sizes. So some of them are meant to be powered off 5 volt, some are meant to be powered off of a lithium ion battery, and some of them will actually have a 3.3 volt output that you can use to power the PuckJS device directly, which would be absolutely perfect. But this is actually a very, very cheap module I found. All you have to do, apart from connecting power, is to connect these transmit and receive wires. These come directly from the SIM800 module and go to pins D28 and D29 on the PuckJS. I'll have a link in the description to exactly how the wiring should be. Now we've got this wired up, it's time to look at the software. This is the Esprino Web IDE, which just runs in a website and uses Bluetooth to connect to the Puck itself. There are instructions that come with your Puck that show you how to get this set up, so I won't, won't cover that here. The software I've used comes from the ATSMS library on the Esprino website. So I've basically just copied this bit of code directly and also this code which allows you to react to a received text message. Um, all I've done is I've changed the pins that I'm connecting to to reflect the pins that I'm using on PuckJS which are D28 and D29. So um, now I've got this all I have to do is upload it and we give it a few seconds to upload. You can see how easy it is actually to send a text message you just give it the number, the text you want to do, and a function to call when it gets called back. Um, so this is loaded. It's realised there are no messages in the SIM card. Um, and so if I now send it a message saying on, it will call this function here, say got message, it will read the message, and it will realise whether it's on or off, and it will turn the LED on or off. We can extend this really easily. So I've got the Bluetooth light bulb I showed you earlier. Um, we can use this example here. You just want to find a light bulb that follows this spec. This is for AWOX bulbs. Um, you can find several other Bluetooth light bulbs that can be controlled in a similar way. And you just want to change your address to the, um, to the address of your bulb. So if I just paste this code in here, um, and I've actually got the address set correctly already. So if I just do set light one in here, and set light north in here, and upload again. Now, obviously, you could um, you could change this to control all manner of different lights just by controlling the address, and it doesn't have to be lights as well. I've got a another PuckJS device here, and I could use um, other instructions that are on the Esprino website to send commands directly to this to turn on lights or to turn on outputs that are actually on these pins around here. So this is done. If I now type on and send it. Give it a few seconds to um, go and connect and come back down to this device. But it's found, it's read the message, and it'll take a few seconds to contact the Bluetooth bulb and to, to turn it on, which it's just done. And I can send off, and the same thing will happen and we'll turn it off. Now this can be done from absolutely anywhere. There's no internet connection, it's literally just a standard GSM phone connection, which you can get almost anywhere and it's turned off. So in the next part of this tutorial, I'll show you how you can actually use this to report information back that's been read somewhere else.
Thanks for watching.